Today is June 24th and with it of course we have a fresh batch of front page deals on the Steam Summer Sale 2017. And we've got quite a few games to get through today as we have some front page and otherwise hidden recommendations for you today. And the first thing I want to kick off with is Domina. Essentially, the fastest way to explain this game is, you know that show Spartacus? Did you like that show Spartacus? Well, this is basically that game, that show, but in a game. You run a Ludus, you are the Domina of the Ludus, and you're trying to bring it up to its proper standing by acquiring training uh, gladiators and of course putting them in competitions and working your way up to the big leagues in the Colosseum in Rome. Pretty awesome. It is a fairly nice little management game. The theme is really well realised. Some excellent, excellent music and some pretty nice gameplay as well. If you ever you know, dreamed of running a Ludus, then you know this day game is definitely for you. Now you might have been aware that around the time of release, there was no save feature at all. There was no auto saving, no manual saving, nothing. Now this was a bit of an oversight in design in the developer's part, in my opinion. He basically said that he didn't put it in because he didn't think it was necessary. He said, you know, he could complete the game in like three to four hours and several people chimed in like, okay, several things. First of all, it's your game so you know how to play it properly. But no one's going to be able to do that on their first try. And B, that's still a long time to sit down with one game without a break, you know. A lot of people can only play for a couple of hours even a night or hour a night, whatever it happens to be. So that was a big missing feature from the game. But I have looked through the patch notes for this and it has been added and the price is definitely worth it it is £3.49 at 50% off and the soundtrack has gotten a little bit of reduction at 10% as well but let's move swiftly on shall we to The Division now of course this game has gotten a lot of criticism over the span of its life but obviously ever since the sort of survivor update that came out it has been very much improved you know recently it is mostly positive there have been improvements made to the game that have addressed its core issues but outside of that mode that has was added the core game is you know not that brilliant from what i've played myself and what i've heard so i do keep that in mind um i would say that this is still a bit high price wise it's 60 percent off making it 15.99 um the season pass is also reduced if you already have the game at £13.99, 60% off. I would say there is a free trial, so if you're at all curious about this game, you know, play the free trial, look at streams, but focus on the new content uh, if, if at all possible, because that is really what's improved the game, because it wasn't all that well received prior to that particular update. Moving on from the grim dark of the division to something much more wacky and wonderful in the form of Earth Defense Force 4.1 The Shadow of New Despair. This series has a well earned reputation for being absolutely batshit. You basically are tasked with taking down swarms of alien invaders. They often look like insects, like ants and wasps and so on, while you are in things like giant mechs and you have things like rocket launchers and other such things. So if you're after a game with some of the most ridiculous battles, then uh, this is definitely one to look at. The price is a little high in Steam sale terms, but it is 40% off, making it £17.99. In all fairness, this has been out a while, uh, just about under a year. So it's a bit of a shame it hasn't had more of a deep discount, but it is fairly expensive. It is a full price release, or almost full price, at £30. So there is that to keep into mind as well. But if you're after a very silly experience, you can't really go wrong with this one. Moving on, however, to something a bit more serious in the form of Crusader Kings 2. Now, one thing I should address, actually, is on the other Paradox games, I wondered if there'd been an update on some of them that had annoyed people because they had been getting poor reviews recently, but I actually forgot that this was done in protest due to the rather hefty price increase that a lot of Paradox games actually got, and this is very much the case again with Crusader Kings 2 as it sits at recently mostly negative. But this is another grand strategy. So if you're after a more traditional grand strategy, you know, very medieval-themed and uh, not all that expensive either then this might be worth a look-see it is currently 75 percent off making it eight pounds 74 and considering the absolute time sink that this game is i'd say that's a fairly reasonable price we keep going swinging back and forth between serious and silly as the next entry is bayonetta i don't think this game needs much introduction of course it only very recently got brought onto steam so of course the reduction isn't all that hefty it's 25 percent off making it 11 pounds 24 it's not exactly expensive anyway but this is obviously one of the most acclaimed 
games from Platinum. You know, one of their very classic, you know, spectacle fighters. You know, the spectacle fighter for a lot of people that isn't, of course, Devil May Cry. And I've been enjoying it myself on the PC. This is a, a shining example of how to release an old game on PC. Like we've had a lot of quote unquote remasters that have you know, had barely anything changed and then had the gall to charge like forty pounds for it or whatever. But no, Bayonetta is cheap and cheerful, even full price, and you know supports up to four K and has you know proper PC porting done. It runs like an absolute dream. Obviously, it runs on you know on a toaster. So if you don't have a high spec machine, that's not really a concern. And, you know, it runs at 60 frames a second, as you would expect. And also, if you're at all interested, if you own this game, you also get 25% off Vanquish. So that's also a nice little bonus. If you haven't played Bayonetta, or perhaps it's been a while, I'd say this is a pretty damn good time to jump back in, because it's a classic for a reason. Let's move on to a another franchise, shall we? And we have, this time, Saints Row. Staying on the theme of silly for more than 0.5 seconds this time, we have the ultimate franchise pack, which is very expensive, but uh, it comes with a ton of stuff. Saints Row 2, Saints Row the 3rd, and a ton of DLC for that game, as well as, of course, Saints Row 4 and a bunch of DLC. It also comes with Get Out of Hell as well, and the DLC for that game. So that's a, a huge collection, and that's like £45, that's 64% off. So, yeah, that's pretty damn pricey, but uh, the amount of games you get for it... Mm. But uh, if you don't want to lay down that kind of cash, and to be fair, I won't really blame you, we do have individual discounts for all the games. We have Saints Row 4, £2.74, as is Get Out of Hell. Saints Row the 3rd is £1.74, and Saints Row 2 is £2.49. Not really sure why that one's more expensive than Saints Row the 3rd, given that, of course, Saints Row the 3rd is all, uh, more new than Saints Row the 2nd, but, you know, hey-ho, whatever. This series doesn't really need much of an introduction. It is essentially GTA, but balls out silly. Especially Saints Row the Third. That's really when they went full on silly because obviously they kind of recognise they need to differenti differentiate themselves somewhat from that of GTA. Out of these ones, I would say Gadol of Hell is definitely worth a shout as a Saints Row Two. To be fair, all of them are. They're all fun, and they're all. Massive time sinks as well, so you're definitely getting value for your money there. And staying on the time sink theme for a second, our next franchise is Fallout. Definitely a series that doesn't need any introduction, so I'm just going to get crack right on because there's a fair few games to get through here. Fallout 4 actually has a fairly nice discount, so perhaps you didn't get around to playing it at launch or what have you. It is 50% off, making it £9.99, not too shabby. There is a Fallout bundle, which again is very expensive, £45, but again it has a ton of games. You've got Fallout 3, Fallout Tactics, the original Fallout, Fallout 2, Fallout 4, the Season Pass, as well as New Vegas for that particular price, and that is 40% uh, off, sorry, 60% off for that particular bundle there. But moving on from the hefty cost to the very much not, we have Fallout 3 for 50% off, making it 7 49 New Vegas is also 7 49 The Classic Collection, which also has Fallout, Fallout Tactics, and Fallout 2 is 3 49 Brotherhood of Steel is 1 99 as is Fallout 2 and the original Fallout. There's also a Bethesda Super Bundle, which is 76% off at £45.59. And there's an absolute ton of games. Like, I'll be here till Christmas reading them out. But let me read out a few. You've got Wolfside 3D, you've got the Quake Collection, you've got Fallout 3, you've got all the Elder Scrolls like Oblivion and Morrowind, not Skyrim, obviously. Call of Cthulhu, Dark Corners of the Earth, New Vegas, Brink, Rage, Dishonored, Doom 3, BFG, Wolfenstein the New Order, The Evil Within, The Old Blood. You know, you've got some pretty new games in there for that price. So if for some reason you're needing for some Bethesda, you know, perhaps you're new to a PC gaming and you just want to get your Bethesda games cracking on, then that's a fairly solid way to do it. That is, a again, 76% reduction. And our last entry for the front page recommendations before I move on to the non-front page recommendations is actually an early access title. It is Conan Exiles. Now this is early access as I already said so do keep that in mind. You are not buying a complete product with this and obviously it is a survival game you know, which are a dime a dozen on early access but if perhaps you were toying with jumping into this one it is fairly reduced, 33% off making it £17.99 but I will just warn you it does at the moment have mixed reviews on Steam. I haven't actually played this one myself, but I've heard a lot of good things about it. 
I feel like from what I've seen myself on streams and so on, it has a lot of potential. If perhaps you want to, you know, t just tuck this one into your wish list for when it's actually done, I do not blame you. I don't play early access games myself, which is why I haven't dived into this one. Um, but I just thought, you know what, I'll throw this in because some people might have been tempted, but the uh, actual asking price might have been a bit high for them. So anyway, let's move on to my non-front page recommendations. We have Duck Game. Which is pretty nuts. You play as a duck and is a very fast paced sort of Super Mario Brawl ish style fighter where you have various weapons that are pick up what you can pick up on the map and obviously you know, you're just trying to be the last person standing or the last duck standing, should I say. This game has a lot of just like high octane, crazy action, you know, it's very fast paced matches. If you're after some fun, you definitely can't go wrong with Duck Game, especially at this reduced price of 50% off, making it $4.99. And there's even a four pack as well, which has 50% off reduction, making it £14.99. This game is a ton of fun. If you're after just something lighthearted to play with your friends, you can't really go wrong. We also have City Skylines, which is $5.99 at 75% off. It is pretty much what everyone thinks SimCity, the new one, should have been. It is obviously a city builder and has a lot of the stuff that SimCity was lacking. You know, it actually has, you know, gameplay and doesn't have half the content not behind arbitrarily online DRM. I know that's all been gone now, but this was a better game when it came out than SimCity. So if you're after that sort of game, I would 100% recommend City Skylines, especially at this reduced price. And we also have something a bit different to end the video on with Firewatch at 55% off, making it £6.74. Or if you want the soundtrack as well, you can get the soundtrack edition for £8.54. This is obviously a walking simulator. It is one of those games, but I find it more interesting than most walking simulators because it actually has some gameplay. It has some investigation elements and it has some really, really good story. Some of the best voice acting I've ever heard and creates really nice atmosphere. It does a really good job of just making this huge forest feel creepy. You know, it's not a horror game, but it has some moments where you know, without really doing much, it just really kind of puts you on edge and makes you paranoid and really sets the tone of the game well you know the story is 100% worth experiencing yourself so I would highly recommend Firewatch so a fairly strong day today some nice recommendations for you there some nice reductions of franchises which is always nice to see as well as some nice deals on some indie games as well so with that said thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time